Hello, you're welcome to 2020 News on City TV. My name is Pearl Akanyo Furi, and here are our top stories. Now, government to hold on to proceedings of initial public offering of the controversial Ijapa royalties deal until special prosecutor concludes ongoing risk assessment on it. And Ghana National Association of Teachers calls on government to make payment of legacy arrears owed them. Let's bring you the details now. You're watching 2020 News on City TV. My name is Pell Akanyo Furi. Still to come, Hollard Insurance Lots, introduction of motor insurance database. We have details of that story coming up shortly. Yeah, welcome back to 2020 News on City TV. Coming up is the business segment. Hello, this is your election bureau. Welcome to 2020 News on City TV. My name is Pearl Akanya Ofuri. And here are our top stories. NPP in Ododio Dio call on the Ga Traditional Council and the police to call to order the member of parliament for the area. And the government hints of a possible reduction in the cost of COVID-19 tests conducted at the Kotoka International Airport. The details of our stories now. The new patriotic party in the Odododiodio constituency in the Great Accra region is asking the Ghana Traditional Council and the police to call to order the member parliament for the area. The party is accusing Neil Lante van der Poy of inciting the NDC youth in the constituency to embark on violent activities. This follows Sunday's clashes between NPP and NDC supporters in the constituency, which left more than a dozen with life-threatening injuries. Nathan, welcome to the City Newsroom. Thank you very much, Pam. So what happens next after the close of nominations? Well, like you heard, the chairperson of the EC say they will go through all the papers that have been submitted. Head of research at City FM and City TV, Nathan. It's always good to have you here, and thanks Thank for your time. Thank you very much for having me. You're watching the City Newsroom on City TV. Stay with us, we'll be back with the details. An institution that promotes good governance and democracy. What is happening right now with the vote exhibition exercise, the allegations being made by the NDC that they've recorded some irregularities in some constituencies, areas believed to be their strongholds, and the NPP discrediting those claims should be of interest to you? Well, yes, it is. All over the world, governments are working on moving towards a cashless economy. By using the digital payment ecosystem, for example, to check tax fraud and maintain money trails. The global landscape of payments and transactions is changing very, very fast. Now, what is fueling this growth is the technological advancement we see in smartphones and digital payment cards. By 2025, the global value transaction of mobile payments is expected to reach over $12 billion, yes, over $12 billion. Now, this figure can be made possible if digital transactions are made available in a way that citizens can understand. And APSA Bank seems to have a foot in the right direction.